What up, Sinners Infinite Sin, back with another reaction. I know we are, um, well, I say another reaction. We're here for the visuals of DNA by BTS. So we're going to go ahead and sit here, and we're going to check out the visuals that went down in this video. I've got my chroma glasses. These are my colorblind glasses. For those of you who are new, I am colorblind. My viewers got me these glasses. I love you guys so much for that. I will always be in debt to you. <laughs> and uh, these are going to help me see all the color that went down. I think I need to clean them first. So y'all give me a second, we'll be right back with that. Alright guys, so they're cleaned off, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Let's get started. Looking good. Alright, let's check it out, let's have a good time with this. I can't wait, dude, colors are gonna be great. Ooh. Oh wow. I love the camera work. So, for any of you who don't know what's going on with any of this, this is all chemistry. This is a molecular structure. So, these are all... Um, I don't know what they are, but... Definitely some cool looking ones. Some of these... All these are different, like, chemicals or different molecules in a sense, in, in a way. So, and then we got uh, derivative uh, formulas and stuff over here. Very cool. Wow, so his jacket stands out. I didn't even see this red in there earlier. So cool. Their hair is all different colors, isn't it? I love the guitar. I love the guitar in this song. I'm sorry, I'm pausing, but like, I love the guitar in this song. I think it's a great additive to the song. Definitely makes for a good sound that's going on in here. Love the building. I don't know what building they're in. I think I may have commented on this at way earlier reaction in the beginning, saying how I think they painted this building just for this video. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. It looks 3D. It doesn't look 3D without him, but that's that's awesome. Okay, so before we get rolling, I want to see this transitions. Transitions amazing. So, obviously, there's a doorway here. This is just fancy, what I call fancy camera work. Um, so it, they do a, a cutoff here, where the wall is directly centered, right? And they do it very quickly. So. I'm guessing I'm gonna see this in behind the scenes, but the only two ways I can think about this, the main obvious one is like as soon as he comes out, they come uh as soon as who was that, Tay? Yeah, as soon as as soon as Tay jumps in, J Hope jumps out. It's almost like he was dancing with himself, which is a really cool reference. Alright, one more time, sorry. So it looks like that happened all in one scene and the camera just rotated around the wall. So like it was what I said it was, but in turn the move happened in real time, but the camera making that transition looked like a splash out of um both sides. So that's definitely really awesome. <laughs> I love the I love the neon aspect of the room. Oh, that's cool. Very cell shaded animation style thing going on here. This looks like something off of a Pink Floyd album almost, but um, <laughs> that's so neat, dude. 
That's so pretty. Okay, so I'm trying to find the spot. Hang on. This spot right here. The way they're doing it looks like it's missing frames almost. So that, that shaky, like, almost, um, what do they call it? The animate, like, still animation almost, but it's, like, moving at the same time. You gotta, you gotta love RM's old man dancing. <laughs> That's how I dance, man. That would be me if they were like, hey, join us on stage and do a dance. I'd be doing this right here. I appreciate that transition they just did to the couch. Definitely cool. We'll back it up. I want to see this. So it puts his, he puts his hand up to his eye, right? And then the camera zooms in on the eye and it turns into the universe, which then turns into what else? Turns into the universe, which you can see the deribonucleic acid strand here, DNA, right? And these are all molecular structures. So the universe, the DNA, the molecules is all one thing. And that's definitely a, a symbolic metaphor there. So. Dance move. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> So the the square that Tay was standing on, I would, I personally not seeing the behind the scenes music video would call green screen post production effect for the background in which the floor was on. So I will check that out when we watch the behind the scenes. <laughs> Love the choreography. I also love the transition. He wasn't in that whenever he did the spin. He just did the spin and was into a suit for some reason. So I want to go back. There's two things that are here. This room. I'm very curious about this room and how they got the ceiling to raise. My only, like, only idea would be that the ceiling didn't raise the floor just dropped down but that would be one big thing to do that would be one big thing to do because i wouldn't trust something that big to be raised above me i would i would trust the floor dropping more 
but that would be either one of those would be too big of a thing to do. And then um the room where the earth was painted. I think it was right before this. This one right here. I think this is really, really neat. This is so colorful and this is so amazing. Very interesting how this looks like water. Almost. Almost like a throwback to when they were in Blood, Sweat, and Tears, like they're in a painting. So. And it's the only time they're wearing regular clothes, too, which is really neat. So it's like they absorbed all the colors in the video into their clothing. They became part of, of the world around them. Um, and I feel like that's what the message behind the video is supposed to everyone. Once you love yourself, you become part, like you become one with yourself, become one with the world all the way down to your DNA. So neat. And then notice they're all in very colorful clothing. I love J-Hope shirt. I think this is the coolest sweater. <laughs> but then he's in a suit. Fade to black and white. So like once the video was over, it's like all the color left essentially and i love that that was amazing that was an easy transition you could do that with filtering post-production it's not that hard um definitely a great video you guys i'm curious to see i'm going to take these off um, i'm definitely curious to see um how the behind the scenes worked so we're gonna go ahead and check that out you guys stick around if you want and uh we can we can kind of get some answers to some of the effects that were happening in there i'll see you guys in just a minute